Quarterly or annual reports, ebooks, business proposals, or even lesson plans are just a few of the digital documents that appear regularly in our professional lives. They can often be visually boring and hard to understand. With VizMe's easy to use templates, you can easily create a visually exciting version of what you have to say within minutes, not hours, and be proud of the end result. Let me show you how. Start by creating a new project with the big blue button on the upper left corner of your dashboard. Here you can select what kind of content you want to create, a presentation, an infographic, or any other visual content. For now, click on Documents and choose the format you need, be it a report, proposal, white paper, and so on. To see a preview of any template, click on the magnifying glass on their thumbnail and then hit Select Theme. Once in the editor, you can replace the dummy content of the template with your actual copy and images. To edit the copy, simply click on the text box and type in or copy-paste your own content. You can change its size, fonts, and other attributes on the top menu bar. To replace an image with your own, select the image, hit Replace, and find the photo on your computer to upload. You can then decide whether to have it replace your selected image or add it as a new one. Selecting Replace will place your uploaded image in the exact location and cropping of the previous image. If you don't own high-quality images that fit into your project's theme, you can always browse around the thousands of royalty-free images built into our editor. Just click on Graphics on the left toolbar, then choose Photos. Search by keyword, then drag your desired image onto the canvas to insert it. If you drop it on top, it will be added as a background image. And if you drop it on the bottom, it will be added as a normal image that you can crop and edit later. I'll add it as a background, then drag it to move to the right position. To change charts in your template, simply double-click on it or hit Settings in the upper left corner. You can select the type of chart you need and add in your own data either from a Google spreadsheet or uploading it from Excel. I'll use a line chart here and hit Replace. To resize the chart, just simply drag its corners. You can also just double-click on widgets and use this snippet up here to change its value. Its colors can be changed down here. To change the icons in the document, select the icon and hit Replace on the top menu bar. This will open the icon sidebar and show relevant replacement options, but you can also search by keyword up here. Keeping a consistent style among your icons is a good idea to keep your document looking professional. To do that, let's make this icon transparent like the others on this page. Click on this color box on the top menu and scroll down for transparent. To change the color theme to reflect your brand, click on Theme Colors on the left sidebar to choose an existing theme, which will then be applied to the entire document. Or you can change any color on the canvas individually by selecting the object and then clicking on the small colored box in the upper left corner. To replace all objects of that color in the document, just tick this little box. You can also add your own colors with this plus button using hex codes. To keep all your graphics on brand, you could also use Vizme's My Brand feature from your dashboard. You can, of course, add further content to your document too. Just add a page in the upper right corner or duplicate an existing one. Then insert the content blocks from the left toolbar. You'll find some basic building blocks from the left toolbar. Under Basics, you'll find text and some other simple building blocks. Under Graphics, we keep our icons and images. Under Data, there's charts, flowcharts, tables, maps, and much more. And under Media, you can insert videos, audio, or even an entire web page if you like. For videos, just enter a YouTube or Vimeo link, look through its settings, and click Done. Once you're satisfied with your creation, it's time to share it with the world. Click on Share in the upper right corner where you can publish it for the web, which means it is publicly available for anyone to see or share it privately so only people in your team or those with a link can view it. This way you can even make it password protected, which can be useful for example when you're creating a business proposal that shall only be viewed by a certain client. You can even convert your documents to lead generators by turning on Require Registration in the Advanced Settings, which will ask for their name, email address, and company before being able to read your content. If you plan to send it attached in an email, then it is best to download it as a PDF document. This will preserve any links and buttons embedded in it.